Okay, I want to talk about in this video the uh, state of our country. And uh, I'm not claiming to be a professional. I'm just a, well, I'm a professional tarot card reader and uh, I like to be a medium someday. So I would like to be an actual medium. I'm not good enough to call myself a medium yet, but I am a professional tarot card reader and I'm really good. Uh, I talk to God and uh, every day, it's my most important part of the day is to talk to God and understand that I didn't find God until like last year or uh, less than a year ago, which means I want to share some important stuff, uh, important information. Uh, pretending a relationship with God, he'll let you do it. So understand that what I was told was God told me, if you want to pretend a relationship with me and just imagine I'm there and pray to me and it's not even serious or you think it's serious, but you're just, yeah, it's not really me. It's just you're talking to a log or whatever. Understand, he'll let you do it. Now, understand how disturbing that was when I found out. Because when, he, when I actually talked to him, he said to me, you don't pretend. He said, one thing about you was you refused to pretend any kind of relationship with me whatsoever. And you wouldn't go along with, along with any pretense. And you wanted proof. And I always said to God, I always said, you know what? I need to see you or hear you, touch you, taste you, or smell you. I can't just have faith that you exist and absolutely no indication that you're actually here. So understand when he talked to me, he said, it's okay. Yeah, I, I'm not necessarily hiding from the world, but the world likes to pretend a relationship with me and I'll let them do it. They'll, have the, they'll, they'll pray to me their whole life and maybe I'll hear them and maybe I won't. Understand that a karmic contract is held by the collectives of most countries it's a karmic contract for a permanence and a rebirth and redeath on a karmic wheel. Meaning, we don't. We've already agreed to a, what's called a karmic contract, and in the karmic contract, we don't even know what we agreed to. Understand what we agreed to, to was to be born over and over and over and over again for an eternity to have eternal life. Our eternal life exists as a whole bunch of lifetimes and you only live once because you only need to live once. So understand that if you live a thousand times, it only takes once to live and get it right. Understand that if you're stuck on a karmic wheel, the karmic wheel is a guaranteed eternal life forever so you can be erased, come back as a new baby, have to go to school all over again, have to learn everything all over again. Tell, tell me this. Are you going to be frustrated or what? Having to be erased and go to school, relearn everything for 20 years, graduate high school, relearn, your, spend your whole life learning all kinds of skills and then die losing all the information or passing it on to your children. Understand, it's part of the punishment and the whole karmic contract. Now understand the importance of what I'm saying here it has everything to do with information sharing, of important information that needs to be understood. That if, if as a collective, we are agreeing to a karmic contract. We don't even know we're doing it. We're doing it though. And ultimately what it says is we accept that we'll, be, we'll have eternal life being born over and over again forever and ever. And ultimately it only takes one life to get it right. And you could escape the karmic wheel. So what's the importance of what I'm talking about here? Is that you, you wanna get it right. You, you, wanna, you don't wanna be stuck being born over and over again forever. You don't want to have eternal life. You want to have everlasting life. Everlasting life is when you get to have it in one body and remember everything and you don't get erased and reborn and to learn it all over again. Do you know how frustrated our souls are? Because of just having to go to school and learn it all over again. No, not again. The baby comes out of the womb. Ah, I'm cold and I have to learn everything again and I can't remember anything. Yep. And uh, the karmic contract states that if you don't know, well, you'll be agreeing to a karmic contract. You'll never get, a, you'll have eternal life. Isn't that great? No, eternal life is not great. Understand you want everlasting life where you're not erased. And uh, it, I'll continue. There's a lot to talk about in these videos. And uh, think about getting off the karmic wheel, trying to escape it. It's pretty hard. It's almost impossible. And as a collective, when you've already contracted on a karmic contract, meaning, all the humans as a collective and many of the largest collectives on earth 
I've already agreed like, yeah, isn't, aren't we doing what we're supposed to be doing? Living eternally, but we think we only have one life? Well, yeah, but the problem is, is it only takes one life. You're only gonna live once, that counts. But if you live a million times, it's because none of them counted. That's why they say you only live once, because it'll be one time you live, get it right, and we've got it wrong. We've all got it wrong. As a collective, many of the collectives are in a karmic contract to get it wrong forever, and they get to have eternal life forever. It's not worth it. Understand, we need information, we need learning. I'll continue.